Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and it won't be a big surprise if I tell you that I really, 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 really do like 7-inch drones. Why? There are many, really, trust me, many reasons why currently I prefer 7-inchers over 5-inchers. But one of those uh, reasons, of course, is that on a 7-incher you can easily put a gimbal and turn it into the cinematic platform and record videos like this. The standard configuration of my Source One 7 inch Source One looks more or less like this. It's a Source One GPS mass antennas and the standard GoPro Session cage that just allows you to install GoPro Session and record some footage. But back in the days when I was still flying 10 inches and 12 inches and they were really a thing, I got me a gimbal. Cheap, really like cheap. Almost the cheapest thing I could found it costed like I don't know 50 bucks Yeah, something like 50 maybe 60 bucks. It was crappy uh, But it kind of like worked big bulky and for last two years It was just lying somewhere in the drawer. I decided that well come on if this thing can carry a Standard camera bracket why cannot it carry this thing what I did this is like I said the Almost the cheapest gimbal I was able to find. The link to this is in the description, sure. With the huge 50 by 50 millimeters board, and it's really like hard to find a place where to put 50 by 50 millimeter board on the drone like this because the board is kind of bigger than anything else. So the idea is you do not mount it flat, but you mount it vertically, of course, with the GoPro bracket like that. Then you only add the GoPro session in the in the cage connect because this is this has a separate power connect the battery and you are done it looks it looks at least strange um, I would have to say it looks like a, hmm, some kind of a robot but it works really 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 it works and I was really surprised to see that this is not really that as that heavy as I feared because if I would take the uh, gimbal bracket itself let me disconnect this thing I, I also put the voltage independent voltage stabilizer so this thing can be powered directly from any IPO and if I will remove the GoPro and find my scale because I always put my scale somewhere oh here's the scale and if I will put it on the scale then the whole thing weights only 160 grams it's not like it's not light, but it's also not super very heavy and seven incher will really have no problem carrying extra uh, 160 well no 160 minus 40 so let's say 130 grams really 120 absolutely no problem to carry two motors more and and some electronics and yeah how no no it's not really that cool but I'm kind of proud of my invention Anyhow, um, the links to the bracket uh, that allows you to mount it is on the Thinkiverse because of course this is 3D printed and uh, and yeah, the great thing that you can just detach the oh the thing great thing is that you can just detach the gimbal connecting again and 3D have a seven inch in a configuration you really want at the moment. It's not a perfect solution, of course, because a GoPro plus this gimbal is really heavy. The whole quad weights almost one kilogram in the full, let's say, cinematic configuration. But the good thing is that it almost did not notice that I put a gimbal on it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay yes, in the high wind there is like, you can feel it that the wind has more area to interact with, but... The flight times on the same battery is lowered by, I don't know, 30 seconds, but usually even that. You can just fly there, fly there, go back, and everything is fine. Oh, yes, this is not a DJI gimbal. By, by the way, 
The GIs are great because of the gimbals, not because of the drones itself, but the gimbals they put on the drones. They are amazing and unfortunately we do not have anything that's even close to the quality of the DJI gimbals. Too bad, but what you can do about this, you have to live with what you have. I'm living with my attachable, super cheap GoPro gimbal. It's kind of working. Yeah, If I really would have to find something better about this is that you cannot really point it downward and you cannot like see what's on the ground because the propellers are there. But this is not this is not the intention of the of the thing. The intention of the thing was just to fly it straight and have very, very smooth and uh, yeah, smooth footage of of the flight. So with that happy thought, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.